Welcome to a Metal Photoshop text tutorial. So first thing you're going to do is pick a nice uh, grey colour for your background and colour that in there. And then you're going to come down and go to New Layer and then you're going to change your colour back to white, pick a brush, make sure the hardness is zero and you've got a nice big size. And then just click into the, the middle click into the middle there with the with the white brush and then come up and enlarge come up to transform and just pull the, the edges of the the circle out of your brush. There we go and just apply that. And then if you come to your fill and just bring that down a little, bring it down to about eighty and then that should be you and just merge the layers together. So there we go. And then if you get your text tool and draw your box of where your text is going to be. And this will work with a number of the different fonts you can use. You really look for sort of a, a, a large, bold, thick font. Uh, I've got a stencil one I'm going to do, so I'm just going to do that with capital letters. So there we go just spell our word out there and just enlarge the size a bit too big there it's not too big there we go that looks okay just move that into the the middle and then just going to right click on the layer and rasterize rasterize the image so there we go, let's get rid of that background thing, there we go. So we've got the the metal text there and we're just going to come down to the FX features and come up to stroke. And let's see, we've got, st we've got three for our stroke, but I'm going to bring this down a bit. Let's see, a two or one. One looks quite good, so we'll keep that. And then you're going to go to drop shadow, which is down here. And let's see, we'll have the opacity up nice and high. Let's see the, the difference that it makes. Doesn't make much of a difference. We'll have it up nice and high, and then we'll change the spread. The spread gives us the the black background. Uh, gives us a nice sort of thicker, thicker black background. So I'm going to put that at 40. That looks okay there. And then you're going to come down to gradient overlay. And with the gradient overlay you need to make sure that uh, you've got your, your settings here, your angle is at 90, uh, your style is at linear, and you just click on the, the gradient colour. Now first of all click on this bottom one here and you need to get a nice silver colour let's see that one looks that one looks okay we can just see it in the in the background there so I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna copy the the code the number there okay that and then come over to our other one here just click on that and then paste the code there as well so we've got the, the same colour and then what you're gonna do is click in the middle just to the side of that stop where it says click to add a stop so you're going to just click there and then you're going to click that stop and give that a nice black colour ok then and then take your grey and pull it your grey that's over on the side there, the right hand side and pull it close into where the, the black is There we go, and you can pull. Let's just pull that a little bit to lighten up the the bottom area, as you can see uh, as well. And then to give us a, a nice final effect, just going to click at the edge here and change that colour. Just going to give that a, a bright white, so that gives us a shine at the at the top. So that looks okay. So let's okay that and okay that. And there we go, that's how we create a nice uh, contrast and metal effect.